What about leaders? Welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about the strategic importance of oil. Let's talk about Guyana investing in oil refinery. Should Guyana invest in an oil refinery? I think we've addressed this question before. I'll point you to that um, video here um, where I addressed that question before. But I want to revisit this question because I want to talk about the strategic importance of oil in Guyana and what is the future of oil. In other words, there are a lot of people talking about um, oil as a negative um, commodity. In other words, thinking of oil, this is a bad time to be discovering oil because of the rising um, need to get off of oil because of the environmental movement, because countries are um, moving away from oil. But I want to offer you a list of reasons why Guyana still needs to be uh, developing its oil industry and what is the significance, the geopolitical and the strategic importance of having oil and being an oil producing nation. So stay tuned. This is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. So when we become an oil producing country, we begin to attract attention from countries that demand oil, right? So you can only look right now at um, places in the Middle East, think places like Iran and Iraq that became the attention, um, received um, outsized attention because of the demand from, for oil from places like um, the United States and they were wrapped up in conflicts that at the seat of it, at the root of it was oil even though it was um, couched in things like terrorism and um, the conflict with Israel and you know other um, conflicts tend to be wrapped up in countries that are producers of oil become wrapped up in all the conflicts, right? So you think of places like Libya, places like uh, Iraq and Iran, and Middle Eastern countries in general are in conflict and have received um, outsized attention because of their um, oil producing status. And when Guyana becomes an oil producing country, that is something that we ought to be able to we pre, ought to prepare for and to expect right you're going we're going to become the focus for geopolitical um rivalry and we can see that right now for example because venezuela is you know one of the major oil producing countries in south america and it's torn between the attention it gets from russia and the united states and in Guyana, you can see recently in the news, um, there's been a lot of propaganda going around about the British um, establishing a base, a military base in Guyana. And so you can see the makings of the um, military intrusion or the, the military attention that you get when you begin to become a, pro a producer of oil, right? So cur currently, Guyana is now in a great position where there are a number of countries and a number of countries um, in companies involved in our oil exploration and production. Countries as, as far away as Qatar and the United Kingdom and France and China and the USA. Right? But as you can see, this kind of attention can also produce conflict, military conflict. And so this is, the need, this is the question we want to answer in, in, in this video. We want to fa say, um, explore the issue of the strategic significance and the strategic importance of being an oil producing country. And what do we need to do to secure ourselves or to look out for ourselves in this kind of environment? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to produce our own um, oil products. We need to have an oil refinery. And that secures us in the event that there is some military blockade that prevents us from receiving shipments of fuel, right? So as once we start producing oil, the first thing that Guyana needs to do is to produce refined oil. We need to set up oil refineries and begin to refine our oil. Now there's a study that has already been done that says that this is not a business, this is not a good business strategy, it's not a good business move, it will not be profitable for Guyana to produce oil. But the profitability is not the major or the most important factor in becoming a uh, uh, fuel-producing country and refining oil. 
what is important is the strategic um, the strategic plan to prevent ourselves from becoming caught up in conflict such as an embargo or a blockade that prevents us from receiving fuel shipments such as is happening right now in Iran so we ought to be able to look around right we ought to be able to look around and learn from what is happening Guyana needs to produce fuel to refine our oil because we need to prevent ourselves from be, um, getting into that situation where an embargo or um, some kind of uh, restrictions, trade restrictions, um, sanctions prevent us from getting access to fuel. So we need storage facilities, we need an oil reserve, we also need fuel reserves, and we need refineries. So there are strategic reasons why we need our own storage facilities to store oil and to store fuel and refine our fuel so that we can ride out, say, an embargo or some kind of sanctions regime. But this brings us to a second point. So the second point, reason why we need this is because we need reliability of um, access to fuels. Right? So what is the future of oil or fossil fuels? Now, there's a lot of debate about whether Guyana is um, right to be accessing our oil reserves or whether we should be developing an oil industry, whether we shouldn't be focused on building a green economy. Now, I believe that we can walk and chew gum at the same time. We can do two things at the same time. We can build a green economy and we can expand and establish an oil industry. But the reason why we need to build our own oil reserve, our own oil storage facilities, our own fuel um, production and fuel storage facilities and our refineries is because we want a reliable source of fuel. And this will lead us to, this brings me to the second reason why Guyana has to take a strategic approach to produ produce oil and why Guyana is becoming a country of strategic importance in this hemisphere. And that's because the demand for oil will be driven by military use and by air transportation in the future. So there are people telling me that, you know, um, with the, the emergence of the electric car and, and auto autonomous vehicles and so on, um, transportation will no longer be needing oil. Uh, we're going to have um, transportation sectors around the world that are independent of oil. But what I remind these people is that oil only accounts, the production, the consumption of oil, the, only 5% of oil is consumed by transportation around the world. In the United States, 15% of oil may be used in cars and vehicles because they have a high density or high use of, of vehicles. But compared to the rest of the world, most of the world still uses things like camels and horses and oxen to do agricultural work and to, to get around, right? So most of the world does not yet use oil for transportation. So the quantity of oil being used for transportation is only about 5%. However, going forward, going forward, oil will be needed for military use and for air transportation. And that is the reason why we need to have our oil reserves, our own oil or fuels, fuel reserves. Because if you're going to have an airline industry, then you're going to need a reliable source of fuel and a reliable source of fuel will be provided by a country that has its own fuel reserves. So that is one of the most important reasons why we need to develop our oil industry and why we need to build oil refineries and why we need to build storage capacity for fuel even as we address the issues of environmental um, conservation and global warming and global climate change and and pulling back from the use of fossil fuels, they are very specific areas in future that will demand oil well into this century and we need to be able to prepare for and to um, take advantage of our newfound strategic importance as an oil producing country. So because oil is going to maintain its um, strategic importance as fuel for aircrafts, you know, jets flying long intercontinental routes are not going to start using um, electricity or solar power. We're still going to need oil to fly these long intercontinental routes um, across the Atlantic Ocean or Pacific Ocean. And because 
the military, military is certainly not going to start using tanks that work on solar power or, or electric um, power, uh, batteries. So whether they be tanks or jet fighters or, um, you know, frigates, uh, destroyers, military hardware is going to continue to require oil. And because the U.S. military is the largest consumer of oil in the world and other um, military forces are beginning to grow because of the growing arms race in the beginning of this 21st century, you know, China is going to expand, Europe is being encouraged to expand, and there are a lot, a lot of other countries, Russia, for example, are also developing and expanding their military, the demand for oil and the strategic importance of being an oil producing nation is going to persist well into the 20th, 21st century and this is the reason why Guyana and Guyanese need to take this seriously. Now, If you want to view or see more content like this, click like and subscribe in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the future of Guyana and its strategic um, importance, geopolitical strategic importance as an oil producing country and whether in fact you think we should continue to invest in developing things like refineries and storage capacity for fuel going forward which like I said will keep us from becoming victims to embargoes and sanctions and all these things that, that begin to plague a country that becomes an oil producing nation. Tell me what you think in below. And remember you can support this channel on Patreon and on PayPal and Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let them know what's happening in Guyana. Later!